uh, on that play in the fifth throw from McCutcheon. Bohm cuts it off. Uh, look, looked to me like he could have let that go and there would have been a play. Yeah. I agree. I would have to agree with you. I think there's a play at the plate. Did you ask him, uh, you know, what, what he saw? Or is it just a, that's what happens in that moment? It's something that we will take care of. And then um, should Segura, I mean, what happened to Segura on there? He, you know, he kind of stayed on the ground and, and didn't get up. Yeah. I'm not sure. Okay. I guess we keep talking about the defense. It must be maddening to you at this point. That yeah, it's frustrating. It's, it's really frustrating because I believe we're better than what we're playing. Um, and we work on it every day and we do things every day. Um, it's frustrating for everyone involved. Go to Matt Breen and then Matt Gelb. Joe, just what, what have you seen from Nola tonight? And, and it seems like kind of going through a tough stretch. Yeah, I mean, back to first the, inning, he, the first inning, he, he, he gave up some ground ball hits, right? And then he gives up the double, um, fly ball to left field um, to Devers. And then he gets the two quick outs and he hangs a curveball to Santana. And then it kind of it snowballed a little bit. Um, you know, I didn't. I, I thought his stuff was pretty good the first four innings. I really did, even though he gave up the two runs in the first. And then the fifth, he threw a lot of pitches. They made him work a lot of pitches, and they got to him again. Um, but I, I thought his stuff was better today than it's been. Boom's defense wasn't perfect last year, but it seemed like it was a lot better than it was this year. What What do you think caused him to take a step back? Oh, it's a really good question. Um, I think there's frustration in the young man, um, probably on both sides of baseball, uh, both sides of the baseball. And I think that, you know, you have to learn how to <clears throat> handle each one of them separately and continue to work. I mean, he works his butt off. He really does. Um, but sometimes things can snowball a little bit before they get better, but we got to get him to come out of it. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, I know this was asked you before the game, but I can't help but, but ask it again. Is there something going on with Bryce? I mean, at the plate and in the field, it just seems like something something weird. Just, it doesn't look like himself. <laughs> he's, just, he's just off. And and we've seen a ton of left-handers. I mean, a ton. Um, and, and I know he's hit left-handers in his career, but obviously his numbers are a little bit better against right-handers in his career. But he's just – he's off. I mean – he's went through this before he'll, he'll get it back. He'll get it back and he'll get hot again and, and do a lot of great things. But right now he's off. And regarding Bohm, are you in a position where you can, where you, where you sit him maybe to try to clear his mind or because you, I mean, you, you look at your, I look at your roster and I'm not even sure. Yeah. Like, I don't know what you would do there. I mean, we will continue to, to look for ways to get him, you know, going, on both sides of the baseball and we'll talk about it and we'll make decisions. And I can't tell you what's going to happen tomorrow, but we'll continue to talk about it. Matt Breen. So I'm going to, I can assume that Vince is okay now. And yeah. <laughs> and how about Ch Chase Anderson? I, what was the plan to use him yesterday? I mean, tomorrow. And does that what, using him tonight? Does that take I him out? Him today. I needed him today. Um, Unfortunately, you know, I was hoping to hold him back till tomorrow. I'll see if he's available tomorrow. I'm not sure. But, you know, you got to get through one day before you can worry too much about the next.